family, this is Sister P coming to you again from Sisters Vegan to 40 Year Vegan. You know how we feel. Food is our medicine and medicine is our food. We're coming to you today with another delicious recipe. This is banana bread. For all the mothers on the run who want to give their something delicious and nutritious, not junk food, okay? Delicious and nutritious. It only takes a few minutes to do this. You will love this and you'll make your children happy as well as yourself. Okay, family, remember, we have a lot of different ingredients that you may have never seen. Remember, I'm a dietitian, I'm also a nurse, so I'm going to show you some different products that I've used, and I've used over the years, tired, interested, and of course, vegan approved. This is one that I use, of course, it's all organic coconut milk. I like to use organic coconut milk, certified USDA, because I use that in the place of a lot of fats. It's a natural fat, and it's good for us. Now, this is another thing I use, this is called egg replacer. Egg replacer is what we use as vegan to replace eggs. It's very simple to use it. You basically use two tablespoons of water to one, of ever, to one and a half teaspoons of this to mix, and that will replace one egg. And you can just do that according to the amount of eggs that you need. And of course, one of my favorites, I use Earth Balance. Earth Balance is one of my favorites. I've used it for a while. They have it in different ones. They have some that are not soy. This one's happened to be soy-based in this particular recipe, but they also have ones that are not. So family, we're going to come to you each week. We're not going to just show you cooking, but we're going to show you different products that you can use that I've used over the years, tired and trusted, that will make you vegan approved. Okay, family, let's get this banana bread started. We're going to start by creaming our ingredients together. We're going to start with two cups of coconut sugar. I always use coconut sugar when I'm baking something like this, or either I use agave. Why? Because I like to don't spike the glycemic index. Then I'm going to put in... 16 tablespoons of uh, the margarine that I showed you from Earth Balance. Got to get all that goodness out of here because, of course, this is a little more expensive than uh, regular margarine, guys. But, uh, again, you pay now or you pay later. So we'd rather pay now. Okay. And then I'm going to add egg replacer. Remember I told you with the egg replacer, you put two tablespoons of water to one and a half teaspoons of the egg replacer. Then you just mix it up, and then this will serve as your actual eggs. Got to mix it up and let you see it. Sometimes it gets a little thicker the longer it sits, and I'm just going to go on and pour that into my mixture. Then after that, I'm going to add... <clears throat> my bananas now these bananas just about six of these i use six organic bananas and i just took a fork and then what i did was i just stirred it up and uh made it like with a fork to to crush it up so you'll have bits of uh, uh, banana in everything that you eat so it's really good how do we raise vegan vegan children by incorporate food and vegetables in everything we do then they'll go a love for it instead of saying i don't like broccoli as a parent I don't like cauliflower as a parent. Well, how do we expect our children to like it if we don't like it, okay? So we have to build that, you know, tolerance for giving our children better things for themselves. And then finally, I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut. I like coconut because for me, coconut is a good fat. They're using it in everything like a fat substitute. Um, my grandmother would use lard uh, as a girl growing up. Of course, that's not good for your heart. That brings on arteriosclerosis, which we don't want. This coconut fat is a healthy fat. Okay, and then we'll just turn on our mixture. Of course, we gotta raise everything up so that we can mix, and then lightly mix. Now, what we, when we're creaming, we cream on high. This, we start off low, and then we keep going up higher and higher. So this is really creamed and mixed very well. We don't do this when we add flour because that will make the flour lumpy. So let's go ahead on. You can smell that. It looks wonderful. There we go. Okay, and now to that mixture, I'm going to add my flour. Now I sifted my flour, of course, because my grandmother always told me to sift the flour if you don't want a lumpy cake or a lumpy baked goods. So this is exactly four cups of sifted flour, okay? And then I'm gonna add to that my two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm also gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna add 
two teaspoons of baking soda. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of salt. A lot of people don't realize when you're baking, you lose a little salt because it brings out the flavor. Not a lot. And then I'm going to add my secret ingredient, which a lot of people don't add. Because, you know, I got that Caribbean flavor. Two teaspoons of ginger. And then, of course, I mix all that up. Take a spoon and mix it up. Or, or just do it the old-fashioned way. And then I'll just start adding this to my mixture, my cream mixture, just a little at a time. And I put it on now, no more than number one, because the worst thing you can do is over mix this. And that's what we don't want to do. So we're going to take our time and add flour. It would be easier if I just take my measuring cup and just add it a little by a little. You can smell that ginger, guys, once it starts to mix. It's organic, of course. Like me, don't panic. It's organic. And you just take your time and let it just mix evenly without over-mixing it. Oh, yeah. You'll be in the kitchen like, mmm, that smells good. Uh, the children, the grandchildren, whoever. Friends, like, mmm, what's that? And when it bakes, it's even better. Okay. So now it's mixed really well. I'm just going to add my last ingredient, and that's two cups of chopped walnuts. And that's all she wrote, family. You know, this batter is delicious, and I'm trying not to eat it. Okay, so again, I like to measure out everything so I have uniform cakes. That's only because I bake for a living, so people like to see uniformity. So what I do is I just go through the process of evenly distributing this out, my mixture. I like to put like two to three of these in here, this, and then that will be my actual cake or my actual banana bread. As you can see, this is just one of them that I've done. Of course, we always want to beat it on the surface. Why do we beat it on the surface? Well, we beat it on the surface, we want to get out the air bubbles. And we also want the, the mixture to become one cohesive banana cake or banana bread. And that's how it's supposed to look. That's one. Uh, I'm going to do the rest, and then you come back and join me in a minute. Now, we have, I've done all of them. I put one cup of the mixture into each one of them so you'll know exactly how much it is. It was one cup. I used to half a cup twice, which is one cup. And then again, beat them down and make sure they have all the air bubbles out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this for one hour at 325 degrees, and that is Fahrenheit. And I'm going to cook it until a two per a toothpick is inserted in it and able to come out clean. I'll show you what I mean as we go along. So let's go on and put this in the oven and then get this party started. Remember, we still have some of the mixture left, family. That's enough for a whole nother batch tomorrow.
family, those was in there about 54 minutes instead of an hour. It really depends on your oven, so you have to do the toothpick takes to make sure that it is actually ready. So let's just do that. I'm gonna stick my toothpick right in, and you know if it's ready, guys, it's gonna come out with nothing on it. As you can see, look at that toothpick. It is clean. That means these banana breads are ready to serve. Okay, I'm just going to turn it upside down. It's a little bit hot. You know, I've been doing this a while. Don't do this at home, kids. You can see why I oiled and flour that pan. You can see why I oiled and flour that pan. Look how those just came out so easy. Come on, mama. We've been doing this a while. We're not new to this. We definitely true to this. It's all about vegan. It's all about we keep things live. Things for live people, that's what big mama does. That's what mama does. That's what I do. It's called Sisters Vegan, the 40 Year Vegan. We're gonna let these cool for about maybe 20 minutes because I like mass hot. Now you can serve this with either, I would like to put margarine on it. Just, you know, when it comes out, that way it'll develop a nice crust. So you could just see that margarine just oh so melting on that. It's just gonna be oh so golden brown. And everybody's just gonna love me because that's what I do. I do this thing real. You can see that. You can see it melting. That butter is, I mean, that soy margarine is melting. It's going to get this bread a good crust. And it's just going to be beautiful. Now, you can brush it on with, uh, some people like to brush it on with a paintbrush. But I just like to do it old-fashioned style, like Big Mama. You see how those look? You see how that's melting on there? And it's, um, um, good. Hey, family, I'm going to just let these cool for a few minutes. No, I'm not. I'm going to go right in. I'm going to get myself a knife, and I'm going to taste this. And let's see what we have. We're going to call it goodness. Very nice. Okay. There it is, family. Banana bread. All good for you and good to you. Let's just let you see. Let me move that piece around so you can see all that goodness. We got all kind of nuts in there. We got all kind of flavors and it's really good for you. The best thing about being the chef, you get to eat first. So let's go taste this banana bread while it's hot and warm. I know I'm supposed to let it cool, but guess what? When you get my age, you get to eat, get dessert first before dinner because can't nobody tell you no. Okay, let's taste it. Mm. Now you know. I would eat this whole loaf, but I'm not. Anyway, family, that's mm -mm good. You'll see, it'll, it'll have the whole block smelling, and somebody gonna knock at your door and say, neighbor, may I have a slice? Be nice, share with others. Anyway, we love you as Sisters Vegan, we always do, and we ask you to please subscribe to our channel, push that notification button, and give us a thumbs up so that we can continue to bring you this vegan, cultural goodness you know veganism is not new to us but it's definitely true to us remember as we always say as sisters vegan nothing has to die to feed you animals should be around the table and not on the table and remember food is our medicine and medicine is our food and guess what it's mm, mm, good see you later family and i hope you try this recipe sooner than later